Well, as we left off, uh, you know, they found the uh, driver, the princess driver, and he talked to the big boss at Disney World, remember? And the big boss says, well, now you have your job anytime you want it. So they got all packed and Princess Hannah was really sad because she had had such a good time. So they drove to the airport. Well, Mr. Farmer Brown and Mrs. Piggy, they gathered up all the kids. And there was Piggly, Wiggly, and Squiggly, and Allie the Alligator in Mrs. Piggy's car. And in Patty Pig's car, her mama took Ollie the Otter, Rocky Raccoon, and You Should Be, and um, Sadie Fox. Skunk, and Frankie Fox. And then Mr. Farmer Brown and Mrs. Farmer Brown in the pickup truck took the little bad wolf. And they all went, they followed Princess Hannah's car through the woods and into town and over to Tampa to the airport. That was a long drive. Wow, it was a long drive. So they were, they were, everybody was crying and everybody was just, oh my gosh, we don't know what to do. And the grown ups were saying, oh, now that's okay now. And they were patting and hugging all the little boys and girls, and the little boys and girls just cried all the harder. And poor Princess Hannah, she was so sad. And you know what Mrs. Farmer Brown gave her? Mrs. Farmer Brown had washed and ironed the pretty blue dress of of her granddaughter Wendy's, and she had washed and ironed the pretty little yellow flowered dress of her da granddaughter Wendy, and she gave them. She let Princess Hannah take them home so she could show her mommy what kind of clothes they wore. She was all excited about that. So. They got aboard the plane, and everybody was standing there waving to her and saying, goodbye, 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 and everybody was crying. And even Mrs. Mrs. Farmer Brown and Mommy Piggy, they started crying too because they had, they knew her real good, and so they were, they were, um, they were sad too. So off, because Mr. Driver had to go, even though he wasn't driving the airplane, but he had to go because he had to drive her from the airport when they landed in England to Arbania. And that was, that was quite a far piece too. Okay, so they came home and that afternoon, nobody just wanted to do anything. They just wanted to lay around and read a book and nobody came out to play and they were so sad and they were so sad and they were so sad. So after supper, Mama Piggy says, now, Piggly, Wiggly, Squiggly, now, we need to sit down and talk because, you know, you probably won't ever see Princess Hannah again. And that was so nice, the way you all played with her. That was such a nice thing you did for her. And I know that her mommy will be very happy to hear that we took good care of her. But she'll probably never come back. She won't be able to come back because she has so many things to do. Oh, well, that made Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly cry all the harder. They'd stopped crying an hour ago. Now they're crying all the harder. And they, she goes, oh, I'm so sorry, boys, but I have to tell you that. You have to understand that maybe she won't see each other again. Okay, well, they went to bed, and they were so, they were just so sad. And, of course, all the other little boys and girls were sad, too, you know. Well, the next day, they got up, and they went, and they said, you know what we're going to do? We have never been on the other side of the forest. We're not supposed to go over there, but we're six years old now. I think we can go over there. Don't you think so? Please ask your mom first. 
right. Well, <laughs> good job, Lilia. Well, the um, anyway, so so they so they're <laughs> I'm I'm completely bebunched. Um, so off they went to the other side of the woods and to the other side of the forest. And they're walking around and they see all the pretty trees just like they had it at their side. They could, some of them, they were, had really good seats up there that they could climb up there on the limbs and sit and lay down and read and everything. And well, then they didn't see anything else that they could, could find different. It wasn't, it was just the same as what they, where they lived and they just didn't know how to, whoa, what did they see? They just got through seeing something. So they ran back, and there was a sign that says, Cave this way. Oh, what was in this cave? They all knew what a cave was. A cave was in the middle of the, of the ground, and it went in, and, you could, and then you could walk and walk and walk as far as it was. It was big. It, yeah, it was... Yeah. So they said, did anybody bring a flashlight? Well, they might have known that the Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly, they had their flashlights. And so all the other boys and girls had learned from Piggly and Wiggly and Squiggly to, um, to carry a flashlight because of other things that they had done. So they all got their flashlights out. And... Uh, Piggly and Wiggly says, now we need, before we go inside, I think we need to, we need to find a great big long vine so that we could hold on to it and we won't get lost. We don't have a rope with us. We didn't bring a rope. I don't know what we're thinking of. And Little Bad Wolf says, you always bring a rope. Why didn't you bring a rope today? And Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly says, I guess we forgot because we were thinking about Princess Hannah. So they found a long vine and they cleaned off the leaves. They pulled the leaves off of it. And they said, okay, everybody grab a hold of it. And we're not going to get separated this way because it's going to be dark in the cave. Even though they had the flashlights, it's still kind of dark. So in the cave they went. And they went about two or three feet and they looked up, they had, they were flashing their lights on the walls of the cave, and they looked up, and on the side of the cave was, a, was words and pictures. They couldn't quite figure out what it meant, but they were looking at it, and they were looking at it, and the pictures showed three stick figures. Do you know what a stick figure is? A stick figure, boys and girls, is a circle for the head and a straight stick for the body and two sticks this way for the arms and two sticks that way for the legs. Right. So they were standing around something that was made like this, some, some lines like this. That must be a fire. That was three people standing around a fire well what's that thing on the other side what's that thing next to them and they're looking and they're looking and they're looking and patty pig says i know what it is it is a buffalo i have read about them it was a buffalo no piggy said it wasn't a buffalo i bet it was a, a, um, Dad? <laughs> no, Grandmommy can't think what the name of the, of the original, um, oh, well, maybe it wasn't a buffalo. I bet you it was an elephant. What was the name of the, of the way back when the, in the long yeah. olden goes yeah. days? No, way further back than that, like Clan of the Cave Bear Mammoth. days. Who? Mammoth. 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 <laughs> Grandmommy's losing it, I swear. It was probably a chicken, really. <laughs> anyway, it was 
way back, those drawings was made by somebody way, way long, 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 long time ago. And it was about three people and they had killed some sort of an animal and they had roasted them the meat over the fire and they had had a good supper that night. Well, Three Little Pigs was very impressed about that. So they went a little bit further back and they went a little bit further back and there was some more drawings, but these were even more difficult to figure out what they were. But you could tell that the, it was a story. You could tell it was some something, something, something. And they're just sitting there and they were flashing the light back and forth and they just could not figure out what in the world they were trying to read, you know. So they went a little bit further back and they went a little bit further back and it was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And now they were down to just walking behind each other like this because it was so small. And all of a sudden they came out to this great big beautiful, almost like a room. And they heard water splashing. Mm -hmm. There was a lake inside the cave. Yes, there was. Don't look at me like there wasn't, boys and girls. Grandmommy's a little addled today, but there was a lake in it. There... <laughs> so anyway, the boys and girls took off their shoes and their socks, and they waited in the pool. But Allie the alligator says, now, boys and girls, before we go in the pool, I want to warn you, sometimes if you don't know what the water is like, sometimes the water can just go like this. You write too small. Sorry, boys and girls. Waterfall. My 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 crew here is giving me ideas. Thank goodness, because Grandmommy's kind of out of ideas this afternoon. Um, anyway, there is one important thing now, and this is very true. <laughs> this is really true. Allie the alligator says, if you don't know what the lake is like, you don't walk out too far he says let me swim out and I will check and see how the water is because we don't want to fall off <clears throat> like this and we can't we can't rescue whoever fell okay because they're walking up here and it just stopped and it fell so he says let me swim out and he says and I'll see well, what a wonderful idea that was. So Allie the alligator took off his shirt and took off his sandals. And he walked down to the water and he starts swimming. And he knows the story. And he starts swimming some more. And sure enough, he was right. Sure enough. He comes back up and he said, Okay, boys and girls, we can only go maybe about three feet. He said, it drops off, and he said, I couldn't even see the bottom of it. It was so deep. He says, I went down a little bit further, but he says, I was scared. He said, so we only going to walk about three feet out, and we have to stop then. We can't go up past our knees. So they all had a good time, and they were splashing around, and they were very careful to stay when it was shallow you know when they up to their knees they didn't go past their knees so they came in and they dried off and they put their little shoes back on put their shirts back on and everything and so they hear something and they hear this water and so they turned this away and they went down that part of the of the cave because it had a little like a hallway and they go and here they hear this water and they go another couple of steps and they hear this water again and they go another couple of steps and they hear some more water and guess what they saw the most beautiful biggest waterfall it was coming down it was coming down and it was coming down and it was a bubbling and it had a rainbow across it because it was so pretty whoa they just didn't know what to do about that and Patty Pig says, I don't know why I forgot my camera today. I always have my camera with me. And so they decided that it was probably time to leave. 
and they had to go back. So they followed their way back out to the front of the cave and they saw the, 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 the oldest drawing here. And then they saw the newest drawing that they didn't know what the hunters had found. And they must have been Indians, they figured. So they decided to draw a little picture themselves to let people know that they had been there. And so they drew a, three little pigs and then they drew the little bad wolf, he was taller. And then they drew Sally Skunk, he was little. And then they did Patty Pig. And then they did Rocky Raccoon. And they drew Frankie Fox with a great big bushy tail. <laughs> and is that Ollie the Otter, did he go? I think he went too. Allie the Otter. No, Allie the Alligator and Ollie the Otter. Right, but they both went. They both went, yeah. So they had to get drawn. So that would tell anybody else that came into the cave that they had been there. Well, they walked home and it was a long trip because you know they were on the other side of the woods now. They were so excited to tell their mama and their daddies what they had done. They get to the house, they get to their house, and they walked into the door and Mama Piggy says, you will never guess what happened. I got a phone call while you were gone. Guess who it was from? And the Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly says, I, I, I don't know who was the phone call from, from, from Mommy. And Mommy Pig says, it was from Princess Hannah's mama, the queen. Wow, all the way from Arbania, she called. And you know what she told him? She told him that, that, that she was just, she was just overwhelmed at how wonderful her daughter had been treated. Princess Hannah had been treated and that she was inviting the three little pigs and their mama, Mr. Farmer Brown and Mrs. Farmer Brown and Little Bad Wolf and Sally Skunk and her sister Sadie and their mama and any other, other boys and girls that wanted to come and their mamas. And the, cat pass, cat, the castle was so big that they lived in that there was a room for everybody to stay with them. They could stay in the castle. And she wanted them to come next month. And oh my gosh, Piggly, Wiggly, and Squiggly, they were just all excited. And so they said, can we call Sally Skunk and Patty Pig and tell them? And Mama Piggy says, I've already told them. And they're, they're telling the children right now. And Mr. and Mrs. Farmer Brown, they have already looked into plane tickets for us. And we're all going to go on the same airplane. And we're all going to go on the same day. And we're going to have such a good time. And that's going to be next month. They get to spend two weeks in the palace, in the castle, with Princess Hannah. How about that one? Well, what did you do today? And Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly says, Okay, I got to tell you, Mommy, you're going to be kind of upset with us. But we went to the other side of the woods. And we found a cave. And it was so much fun. And she says, Oh, boys, 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 boys. Do you know how dangerous that was? Well, we had our flashlights, Mama, and we, had, we made a vine so we wouldn't get lost from each other, and we didn't, and Allie the alligator checked on the water force. The water! What are you doing in the water, she says. And so they had to explain to her, and she goes, Oh, my heart's just to go and poo, 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 poo. She says, You boys are going to be the death of me yet. Yes, I got to go. And so... <laughs> And so anyway, that's the end of today's adventures, and we will see next time what they get into then. Bye, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.